Hey guys, long time no see. <laughs> that's that's a, a movie magic joke, Henry. It's like a it's an inside joke. I don't think you're gonna get it. <coughs> God, you guys got <coughs> so much dirt, dust. Like he's been in his fighting hole over there. Uh, hey, what are we doing? Well, uh, possibly in the last video you saw. Hey, we're gonna start working on suspension. So that's what we're doing. We're working on suspension. And uh, I pray that we will be going to um, the track Sunday so we can uh, see the fruits of our labors. I hope. Golly gee. It's supposed to be warm though. It's like 80. But, you know, whatever. So, all right. Anyway, I need to get this thing jacked up and then jack stand it up and then start unbolting stuff. So we can put some stuff on it. We're going to put some struts. We're going to get some strutter action going. We're going to put these new Summit springs on and hope that it's not, it's a little bouncier than it was, but not bounce, not too bouncy. That's what we're hoping for. So, all right, cool. Let me get to work. Brake lines. Sweet. We get the uh, other jack to support the control arm a little bit. So we're going to we get the brake line off. Careful. We want to be careful that we don't lose a bunch of stuff. PR 14150s. <clears throat> Made in the USA. Oh. Oh crap, I thought I got. Oh, I better double check. <laughs> I thought I got 110s. Oh. I got 130s. Dang, I, I thought I got 110s. Let me go check my thing real quick. No, I ordered 130s. I chickened out. <laughs> I thought I got one. I thought I got one tens, but I was going back and forth honestly when I was doing it. Yeah, I was going back and forth when I was doing it, and. Uh, I ultimately chickened out. So we've also got a. Uh, we're also going to pull this strut off. So I need to uh, I need to get on that real quick. Uh, at least get the strut off because we're fixing to have to shut down. We got to. We're going to eat. We're actually going to uh, meet Pirate and uh, David and their wives. We're going to go eat with them at us at a steakhouse. Uh, cool. So, 
All right, let me see if I can get this knocked off real quick and uh, then we'll call this a wrap and finish it up tomorrow. Dude. Mitch is sitting there right now at his house. Going, hey man, why'd you drop that nut back there? Dang it. Uh, nah, he's sitting there going, uh, son of a gun. Come on now. He's sitting there going, uh, you cut them bolt heads off, don't cut these ends off. You don't need all that extra weight. He's actually right. All right, let me uh, get a different wrench for that. Crescent and a magnet. Again. Oh gosh, come on. Don't tell me I got a There we go. say I need to cut that much off and honestly probably right he is probably right that those ounces they turn into pounds This little collar, I didn't, uh, I gotta knock that off. Yeah. Didn't even notice it was on there. Son of a gun. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I started, uh, knocking it off. There we go. Before, uh, you guys got in here.
Sorry, I know I was blocking the shot. There we go, kids. <laughs> we, we just swapped that out. So we still got to fully secure it and set the... Hold on. I won't be here in shot for the people. But we... I want you... Ah, I want you guys to look at this. Yeah, that might have been causing us some issue, being a little stiff. I mean, I'll be honest, being sometimes things being stiff, that's a good thing. Oh, oh my God, ah, hand puppet. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes things being stiff, that's that's a good thing. But in this case, not as much. Um, I readily admit that. It wasn't a lot of fun to drive with it bouncing all over God's creation. Uh, and I don't want to say it wasn't fun to drive with it being super stiff because I like the car, you know, not bouncing everywhere. But at the same time, I want the car to be able to move and rotate a little bit um, since basically everything we have is kind of non-adjustable and just freaking trash. Um, but, uh, you know, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. So we got the one strut, we got this one side done. We'll have to obviously, you know, tighten the strut down, get the spring set and put the brakes back on it, then set it down and we'll have to finagle around with it uh, some, getting the ride height set. Plus it'll settle a little bit once we, the car, we drive the car and stuff like that. But um, so far so good. All we gotta do on the other side is basically the same thing, except for we're not gonna swap the strut because that strut works more than it doesn't, I guess. So. Um, Anyway, I'll see. I got to get good ready for dinner, as I said before. And um, I guess we'll see you guys in the next clip, which will be tomorrow. And I've also got to post a video. I'm going to post a video right now. It's a Trojan horse one. It's long. And it's got a bunch of non, a bunch of yak yak in it. So I'm sure everybody will love it. And I've got to put these tools up. <clears throat> we have got the strut. Tighten down, and we've got the uh, pull spring tighten up. Brake caliper back on, and we've got the control arm jacked up. Getting a huh, this this seems to be a habit with us. Getting a late start. Had a lot of fun at dinner last night, talking some trash, messing around. Uh, and today we took the we took the dogs out. They walked four whole miles and got to swim in the pond. They had a great time. As you can tell, they had a great time, or at least you know Henry did. So, or Shelby did too. They jumped a deer out there, and Shelby they were wore out chasing stuff. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you guys are kind of wore out now. But uh, anyway, late start, but we're trying to get it all buttoned up so we can head to the track tomorrow. And uh, so far, so good. Now we just got to get the other side uh, squared away and try and drive it a little bit. good to go all right all right we have got an hour 140 out got our 130 
right. There we go. That'll be enough. Okay, now we can uh, put our brake on, our brake caliper back on, and start adjusting our spring. So, let me uh, start taking care of that. We got everything. set up, tightened up. I think we're kind of close on our heights. set on the ground of course so I think we're we're pretty tight as it sits right now we're just going to leave the little rat in there certainly hope that doesn't come back to bite us but I'm hard-headed I'm hard-headed like that about certain things at times would think by now I would have learned to have listened to listen to my gut but I don't always do and sometimes that comes back to haunt me. Okay. We are done. we pull it with that. Well, we're basically done with everything, I guess.
I've got a back tire that's a little low. Hey. <laughs> hey. This side's still not 100% great. We'll see. See how it's going to work. I'm all right with the ride height, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can live with that. Um, so, now... Uh, maybe we'll put some air in the tire, take it for a ride. You went for a ride today, didn't you? Yeah, rode it in the brain. You were sleeping in the brain. Well, Shelby was on the way back. She was tired. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it works. Let's, uh, let me put some air in the tire and let's, um, tighten up the front lug nuts for real and, uh, maybe take it for a ride.
we're gonna do our outro here in the car. So um, that's gonna do it. Uh, I hate to even say this again. You know, we can do the, what will it run? <laughs> you guys can speculate if you want. So hopefully if we end up racing, oh, it's plain. We'll uh, have changed to the uh, Wolverine cam. We'll have put the uh, electric water pump drive on, you know, and then lost a couple pounds off the crank. Um, and we'll have uh, put the different front springs on and we'll have put that one strut on. So um, you guys tell me it's, and listen, Whenever you're making these guesses, I'm not trying to tell you how to do it, but you know, weather is a huge consideration in how a car performs, how an engine, how an engine performs. Um, cool, dry air, and dense. You know, if you can get it, that's that's the stuff. Um, hot air, <laughs> it's not as good. So, especially when it's got a bunch of moisture in it. Now it's not humid, but it is going to be su substantially hotter. I think than the last time we were up there. So take that into account. That also heat, also sun on the track makes it kind of greasy and it can, you know, so there's, you know, there's a few factors there that kind of, you know, play into it. Um, so you guys tell me what you think is going to run. I know a lot of you guys have already guessed with just the cam, but we did change a few of the little odds and ends and um, hopefully they run tomorrow. Hopefully. So otherwise, um, I guess that's going to do it. So um, I would like to, oh, I'm, I'm going to go get a new set of plugs too. So we're going to put a fresh set of plugs in it. Don't know if that's really going to help or, or not, but we haven't put fresh plugs in it. So we might as well go ahead and splurge, you know, with all the YouTube money. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for supporting the channel and all the ways that you guys do. Thanks for, oh yeah, we're cool now. Thanks for watching. And until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos on this here YouTube, we'll see you guys in the next vid, and let's hope that it is a test and tune vid, and that we do well. Ultimately, just get home under our own power. That's always the goal. Then it's, you know, not miss gears, and then run good times, and be consistent, and so on and so forth. So, all right, we, let me go out and see if I can see anything under the hood, and we'll see you guys in the next vid.